And uh, again, don't be afraid to uh, make a radical change late in the process if it suits the painting. Um, these great sculptural marks I've been developing here along the throat, um, just completely spontaneous, a little wet on wet blending with what I just laid down for the hair. Um, and you'll notice that I move the whole shoulder up here. This is the old line of the shoulder from last week. And it just wasn't correct as to what I saw looking at the model. Uh, and this shoulder over here also, with a little sighting and measuring, I could see that this line, where I had it down here intersecting with the collar and the chin, was really more up in the corner of the mouth. And then I could look and see how to adjust the other shoulder accordingly. It gives the pose a lot more solidity. And um, just bring some paint up to blend that area. And where I have this of the shirt here, I can again just bring it up. And uh, there's a little drip there. So be it. It's a happy accident. Um, you know, like I said, if you start falling in love with these happy accidents, then they become dead spots for your painting. So you don't want that. But if you just trust them, your painting will have a little bit of life. And um, you can deal with them. Let them breathe a little bit. But uh, don't be afraid to make a change if you see it. It'll only make your painting stronger.